What you are about to see is an experience I had in Rust on the 29th of October. The Reddit large server had just wiped a couple of hours earlier, and I joined the server with no plans really, but I was about to have the most unforgettable wipe in all my hours of Rust. Okay, we're back on Rust. We are on Reddit Lodge. I asked you guys what server to play and you guys chose Reddit Lodge. It isn't Force Wipe, I'm gonna play Reddit Lodge on Force Wipe too, but don't try to find me there because I'm this video will be up after that, so yeah. So yeah, it's before Force Wipe, so I still have a bunch of fucking blueprints. The server just wiped. So yeah. Should be fun. tools for the base Really? <laughs> How'd that work out for you buddy? Okay, let's get this base down. Nice. A good start to the wipe. Now I had a base. And my plans for the first day was to just get up a base that would survive the night. I had tried to get enough scrap for a level 2 workbench. I want to get a level 1 workbench as fast as possible. Wow, I actually almost died to that. Oh my god. Got a level 1 workbench, nice. Basically my plan for day one is just to avoid any PvP. Now oh, let's get some stone. I always get so paranoid when my base is wood. I hate it. Oh yeah. Now we can make our base stone. Now we're good from eco raids. My neighbor started taking heli. Ooh. I'm gonna go check it out. Maybe I can get something from it. 
I haven't checked out their base, but it sounds like there are a lot, so we might have a compound. In that case, I'm gonna jump in. Okay, so... No compound, but they do have furnaces on. Might be able to do something here. Let's get that later. I think they occupied with the heli, so might be able to yoink some loot and sneak my way out. I couldn't reach the furnace this time, but I would be back. God damn it, bro. I was trying to get my wood. <laughs> oh, that worked out for you, buddy. Oh god, these friends are here. The boat PvP wasn't really going my way, so instead I decided to focus on upgrading the base. Okay, nice. After finishing some upgrades to the base, I saw that my neighbors had done some upgrades of their own. So I went to see what I could do. I'm gonna go and check out uh, this swamp base again. I feel like they should have done some upgrades by now. Got them done a compound, so I'm gonna jump in and see what I can do. Ooh. <laughs> what? Now we can upgrade the base to metal. We don't need to farm any metal. I'm gonna go back. It's like I'm pretty sure I can reach that furnace with the turret. 
pretty sure. Oh my god! Easy metal! Nice! I feel like an offline raid is pretty far away right now. After upgrading my base to metal, I had to log off. But as soon as I woke up the next morning, I logged straight back on. And my first goal of the day was to get up a level 2 workbench. This should give me enough scrap for level 2. That should be enough. I'm pretty sure. Hopefully this is enough scrap for level 2. Boom. After getting down a level 2 workbench, I went to check out my neighbor's base again. They had secured it quite a bit. But... Luckily, not too much. <laughs> but literally, but then it's had the boxes next to it to show after how much. You can have like a montage of places to come up. I'd watch that video. I think that'd be pretty lit. Oh my god. Wait, Holy so did, did you fuck. start last night? Though? Yeah. Or did you start as a wife yesterday? Uh, last night. Down, down the hill. Uh... Oh yeah, Wait, I see, I see. I've been hit by something. I've been compound both. I'm just worried about that compound bow guy. Yeah, you're good. It's not a compound, it's a crossbow. It was time to get up a compound. I started hearing a fight close by. I went to check it out. My neighbors were roof camping another group I would come to know as the O4 guys. I definitely didn't think much about this incident, or these groups even. But that would soon all change. Because one of these groups would become my ally, and the other one the main enemy. But I had no idea about this at the time. And so far I didn't even have any guns. So I crafted a revolver and went out to see what I could do. Gonna depot and then come back and take a look at people in military tunnels.
Oh, there's so many of them. Holy shit. Then a duo started door camping me. Fuck. <sighs> You're so bad. Thank you. I wanted to get enough scrap for a tier 3 workbench. So I went to power plant to do the puzzle. When the worst thing that could happen, happened. Fuck me. I didn't- I actually didn't record that. I actually fucking didn't record that. Oh, I actually didn't fucking record it. Of course I make a play and I don't record it. <laughs> now people are gonna think yeah, it's scripted. Yeah, yeah. I had made a huge play, and when I looked over at my OBS, I hadn't pressed the record button. So I'm really sorry for this, but I'm going to try and recreate it the best I can. Okay, so as I said, I went to power plant to do the puzzle. But as I was running through power plant, I saw a group at the recycler. I sneaked my way up to the recycler and waited. Then most of the group left, and only one guy was left, so I killed him and he ended up being loaded. This was his name. I looted everything I could and then hid inside the sewers. Then I waited for a couple of minutes. Then when it was all clear, I ran back to my base. So that's it, now you know how I got this loot. After this I finished up most of the base. anything about it, I have a nail gun. Oh well boys, um... Start it up. Of course. Place the wall, man! I had just lost my only tier 3 gun. So I grabbed all the components I wouldn't need and went to bandit camp to scrap them. But I wanted more scrap, so I decided to gamble. Fuck. Fuck it. Yes! Oh, that's so good. Van LR. Some high qual. 39. Nice. I left this LR in my locker upstairs. And then I logged off. The next day, I woke up dead in my base. So, I spawned in the bed by my locker. There was still one guy left in my base looting. I managed to kill him and then I sealed the base. Come on, man. <sighs> now I had managed to somewhat defend my base. But the raiders had still gotten away with most of my loot, like guns and components. Guess we rebuild. I 
I started hearing footsteps outside. What the fuck is pre-firing me? Out here. What the? That's an M2. That has to be an M2, right? GG Is it because of the holiday game? How did that not break? I was very down at this point. I just lost my only two guns and all my motivation to keep playing. Fuck off. So I was getting ready to leave the server and started despawning my loot. But as I was despawning loot, I stopped myself. Come on bro, we're not gonna give up this easy. We have a name, so let's find out who this dude is. And let's get some revenge. I don't have any guns left, but... We can rebuild. Really? I legit have, I have nothing to defend with. I was getting raided again. This... Well... I can't do anything. Like what am I supposed to do? And with no real guns to defend, any hope was short-lived. There was nothing I could do. All I could do was stand there and watch as this group was taking every bit of loot I had. Did I feel like giving up? Not one bit. No, as I was standing there a plan started forming in my head. And if I so had to stay on this server until it wiped, I was ready to do that.
But then something very unexpected happened. Hello? Hello? Hello, man. How are you today? I'm good. I'm sorry for wedding you. Look on, look on top this loot for you. The rest, man. From the come raiders. Outside, come outside. Come outside here. Where are you? Come out, man. Come out. We don't kill you. Come out. Take the walls and build the walls. Seal. Wait, wait, but wait. Let us out. Wait. wait. One, one move. Look on top on your, uh, your car. Look on top on your base uh, stone. Okay, thank you. For some reason, these okay, guys no. were giving me resources and letting me seal the compound. Thank you. And as I was sealing the breach, one of them came back. Hello, mate. Hello. Uh, um, do, drop your, drop your shit in your base and, and, and come to come to my base. And we will give you stuff. Okay. He wanted me to follow him to his base. This was my chance to get some very very necessary answers because at this point I was very confused. Wait here, stay here, stay here, stay here. Take it, come here, take. So I'm, I'm just wondering, are you the guys that raided me, or why are you helping me? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, oh, four, oh, four. I raided you. One, two, three. This guy. We, oh. We count as this oh, guy, yeah. and oh. uh, and you you kill my friend and have the skill set. This is why we raid you. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I thought we count as this man. Okay. They offline you? Yeah, I just like <laughs> came out online, saw your friend in in my base and killed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Give us give us one or two days and we offline in this guy, man. Oh four, you said? What? Oh four. Did it live in oh four? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. four. Yes. 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 Yeah, I still, I still. Open door. I, 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 I kill me inside. Yeah, okay. Ah. Uh. All full men. Yeah, you can just kill yourself. I'll pick it up. Okay. Good luck, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. I mean, they didn't get. <laughs> I died with the gear set. <laughs> so it's. I'm so confused. Why would a O? Why would a O four guys raid me? So the reason why I asked him if he raided me, or like why he raided me, I, I was just confused on why he was helping. Like because uh, at the end of the day, this is Rust and. To get raided and then have that guy give you a bunch of have the guy raiding you give you a bunch of stuff. It's just not. 
It's not something that happens. So I was just confused. But I guess that makes sense. But why would the O4 guys raid me? That's the only like thing I'm confused about right now. Oh, it broke my locker. Nice. That's definitely one of the <laughs> weirder things that it has has happened to me on Rust. Have a clan come raid me. Cause I was about I was I was about to fucking I was gonna like as they were raiding me, I, I had this like plan, just fucking building up in my brain, on how to get back at them. But I guess we're gonna have to take a look at these guys. Okay, so this right here was a lot of information to take in. So let me quickly explain what had happened here. The group that lived in the 04 started raiding me, but they got countered by my neighbors living in the swamp. And as they were transferring loot, I spawned back in, and killed the guy holding the raid. My neighbors wanted their gear set back, so they came back and raided me. Then they realized I didn't really have anything, so I think they felt bad, and decided to help me rebuild. Then my neighbor tells me that it was the O4 guys that raided me, and that they only countered it. But then we come to the question, why would the O4 guys raid me? For my neighbors to raid me, makes sense. I'd been stealing from them all wipe. But they were not the ones who raided me. The ones that started raiding me was this random group from 04 who I at the time knew nothing about. So who was this group? And what had I done to deserve an offline raid? All of these questions will be answered. But for now, it was time to rebuild. As I was out farming, I got killed by a name I had seen before. What the? How did you see me? This was the guy I had stolen all those components from before. Some new neighbors had moved in and were roof camping with an M2. I hate the Halloween event. I hate it. I hate it. Everyone and their mom has a fucking M2. I went back to see if I could get my hands on the M2.
Come on, bro. Nice. I was getting sidetracked, so I decided to go and check out the O4 group space when this happened. Please don't check this. Of course. Bro, they just know. Literally just run right to me. Oh my god. I'm dead. This is fucked. Holy shit, there are a lot. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. Like, I could just craft up like 30 rockets in this fucking YOLO. See how far I can get. A lot of farming would have to be done to even make a dent in their base. So I decided to craft up some rockets and go out and try to find a farm base to raid. I wanna see if I can find like a farm base. This could be good. Edge of the map. We could take this over actually. I'm, I could, I'm gonna go through doors so I can take this over. Oof. Oh. oh no. Okay. 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 Let's just transfer everything first. Now I could have raided it with just 4 rockets, but... Fuck, there's no sulfur. But now I can take it over. We have a farm base. Nice. Like, in hindsight, I probably should have just used 4 rockets, but... I had no idea there would be 2 garage doors, so... After this, I did some upgrades to the base and logged off. Next morning when I woke up, my neighbors had been raided. Oof, I guess I over raided them. While I was climbing up the base, I found my friend sleeping. He had quit the server. Ooh. 
Yeet. I decided to take over their farm base and take their heli. Can probably find some use for this. See if we can get if we can get this farm base to work. Buggers. Squeeze. Come on. Yes. Easy. Nice. We got a mini cup there. I saw a heli leaving from the O4 group space. Then I heard some rockets from that direction, so I went over there to see what I could do. This was my chance to get back at them. Oh no, I actually screwed that up. Of course. I need to get revenge on these guys, like, I need to get something from these guys. I think that hit. That definitely missed. Fuck. That hit. And look who we have here. Yes. So the people I had taken all those components from were the O4 group. It's not a lot, but it's something from these guys. Of course, I can't win. They had to come out on top yet again. It looked like I couldn't get a win against these guys. After this loss, I spent the rest of the day mostly in base.
I had a feeling I was gonna get offline raided again. So before logging off, I crafted all my gunpowder into rockets and hid the rockets in a stash. Even if we get raided, still has have the rockets, so. And sure enough, I woke up dead to a guy named I don't like this game. He lived in that base up the hill that was roof camping with the M249. At this point I was tired of getting raided as soon as I went offline. This would end today. My hit against the 04 group happens today. I still had all the rockets stashed, so if I farmed up a bit more I felt like I could do some real damage to them. I had a long day in front of me, so let's get to it. I started with patching up the base. I realized I still had a few kits laying around. Still have my AK kit, nice. Then I went to check out the base of the people that had raided me. They had gotten raided too. Karma is a bitch. They had some turned off turrets on the roof. I destroyed them to get the guns inside of them. Then I started hearing a raid in the distance, so I went to counter. But I died. So I waited for the raiders to leave, and then jumped in to check out the leftovers. There was a lot of loot left. I recycled everything I wouldn't need. And with this, all I would need for the raid now was more sulfur, so I farmed. And I farmed more. Then I went to outpost to buy some stuff for the raid. Then I found even more sulfur. Smelted it up and started crafting the explosives. Okay, I think we're, we're gonna have enough, we're gonna have like 30 rockets, like it's not gonna be enough to raid them but it's gonna be enough for a statement and hopefully it's a lot of fun. And now I was ready for the raid, let's do this.
and after all of the preparations I had done, this was how it ended, with the all four guys on top. I went back to my base to have a chat with them. <laughs> Can I even be fucking mad? Can I even be mad? Am I allowed? Am I actually allowed to be mad? Isn't that just fucking comedy? <laughs> I do all that preparation for a clan to use fucking like 10 rocket launchers to raid me. <laughs> uh... Come on, man. Really? <laughs> GG, I guess. Are you guys uh, the O4 guys? Oh, Sweden, nice. Were you the guys that raided the, the swamp, swamp guys? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the second time you guys raided me? Yeah, but first time yes. they killed us. Yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know. You've been fucking, you've been the ultimate rat. Bro, I'm, I'm a solo player, I have to be. You are around the next corner or in the next bush, man. It all made sense now. I had been fighting these guys all wipe without even knowing it. Because they came out on top every time. But having a solo player step on your toes as much as I had, it made sense. They were the ones that raided me. And honestly, even though I never got my revenge, I don't really care. I have had an unforgettable experience this wipe. And sometimes you just gotta call it quits. GG's to both the Swamp Guys and the O4 group for making this such a fun wipe. At the end of the day, it's all fun in games. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Sorry for taking 3 weeks to finish it, but I hope you enjoyed it. Next video definitely won't take this long. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe if you're new around here and leave any feedback on how I can improve my videos down in the comment section. You can also join my discord server for channel updates and if you just wanna chat with me. These videos take a long time to make, so if you wanna support me a little extra, you can do that over at my Patreon. All the links for that are in my description. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.